guys, it's Keith, aka Gator Guy 231 across the DFS industry, and here to break down a La Liga showdown on Thursday. Um, we actually have some really good prize pools with uh, La Liga returning, and uh, should be fun. It's just adding to all the soccer that uh, is coming back. Um, we actually have a little bit of a break at the beginning of this week, uh, just some time to dig in because I think over the next few months, we're not going to have many days at all that there isn't some sort of contest. Once uh, Premier League is back, hell, we've got MLS playing like a World Cup in Orlando, Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga. It's just going to go on and on. And who the hell knows what DK does with like things like Turkey, which they have the rights for. Uh, we've seen them still continue Superliga. So tons of soccer coming your way. I'm not going to have previews for everything. Um, I still do have a job during the day, but uh, we'll be covering um, all of them in our Discord chat. So make sure you sign up, um, you 100% get your money's worth, and uh, it's a good time with some great guys uh, to uh, talk soccer with. Uh, you know, you get my, my, my top plays on every slate, and we, we go from there. So let's just jump right into this slate. Um, so the biggest thing I think I want to kind of go over to start with with La Liga is La Liga is not like the most DFS-friendly league. Um, they play a lot more straightforward um, so it's a lot less crossing. Um, a lot of teams, it's a lot less shooting than you see um, in England. They, you know, they, again, they want to possess the ball, play more beautiful. Um, and it's not always as great for DFS. So it does put um, more emphasis on dominant set takers, on guys that do cross or players that do kind of have that, uh, that desire to still put in the cross. I, I say that because we're going to be talking about the leading crosser in the league, uh, uh, Jesus Navas, who doesn't take any sort of sets, plays right back. Um, he is not exactly the best crosser in the world, but DK does not reward successful crosses. They reward the action. So that's going to be something that we're going to target. Um, so let's just kind of go into the matchup. So it's Sevilla at home versus uh, Real Betis. Um, both teams really do split up the sets. Um, so we don't have a dominant set taker on both sides. Uh, unless, you know, ever Benega and is in, for whatever reason, whenever he's in, you know, they just all go his way. Um, the interesting thing is he's leaving this, the club at the, I guess it's the end of this month, or I can't remember if the transfer rules are at the end of next month. But uh, so I don't know, like, how much they want to play him. He was playing before uh, the break. But, you know, with it being so close, you know, do they kind of turn the tie, play more uh, Joanne Jordan or Oliver Torres? I, I really don't know. He's predicted on the lineup I found, so we're just going to go with it. If he's in, you know, he's an easy lock. Um, on the other side, Canales takes most of the Betis um, sets. He also has PK duty, so, you know, you have that upside baked in. Um, Fakir is by far their best player. Um, it's still just kind of like, for him, like a wild ride on how he – goes from dominating Lagoon, was going to be um, at Liverpool, but then failed a physical. Um, and honestly, just been one of the better players in La Liga. So I don't know if a bigger club has uh, is going to be coming from eventually, but, you know, he's a stud. And while he doesn't really take a lot of sets, he just, just shoots a ton, draws a ton of fouls. So he's going to be insanely popular. Okay, let's kind of just look real quickly at the projected lineup because I think that that's um, kind of where I want to just, you know, do most of this breakdown from. So the guys that I'll be targeting, um, Sergio Regulon, I can't remember if he's on loan for um, Real Madrid or he's permanently in Sevilla, but he's a gr nice, nice DFS player. He's not going to, like, send in, like, nine, ten crosses, but just loads up the stat sheet. So he'll be popular in cash. Jesus Navas leads La Liga in crosses, um, as I said so um, that'll be another building block. I didn't even think he's captainable um, because of that high floor. Um, Ever Benega went on and takes almost all the sets. Suso, again, I can't remember if he's on loan from Milan or he's permanent, but another guy that does cross a lot. Like Sevilla like kind of breaks the mold of La Liga. They do do a lot of crossing. Um, but like right when I say that, of course, they're not going to. But so, I mean, this right side, I think a lot of people are going to start there and Regulon. So that's like the best cash options. Joanne Jordan, if you don't see Benega, um, is going to have a set share. So if it's like Joanne Jordan and Sousa, and let's say it's Torres or another one of their midfielders coming into play, it would probably be a split. Um, Nolito is a fine player, but, um, you know, you really got to get a score from him, uh, like a goal or an assist, or he's probably going to dud. On Betis' side, Fakir is by far the top option. 
um, followed by uh, Sergio Canales. So Joaquin's going to get a lot of ownership. Joaquin's really old. He's really only good for one thing, which is corner kicks. So, you know, either you have to get a ton of corners with their dog on the road, um, or, you know, you've got to get a, a goal. I mean, he can score. Like, I'm not saying that. You know, if you look down, there was like a, a two-week span um, earlier this year where he had, I think, like five or six goals. So he's fine. Just just understand, like, he's not getting corners or, you know, he's not on the score sheet from a goal. Like, he's probably going to show up with, like, four to five. And at his price point, he's going he's gonna to kill you. Um, so I, I can almost assure you I will not be playing Joaquin. He's just, like, been a guy every interleague slate where I look at. I know he's going to be on sets, and I just, like, do everything I can to not play him. Alex Moreno, a nice player. Um, I can't remember if he fits some of the builds, but um, he is, like, an attacking guy more of like an actual like a wing back than he is a true fullback. Um, Emerson as well. Doesn't cross a ton, but just shows up with DFS production. So he's nice. Andreas Cuadrado, he used to take sets. I don't I can't remember the last time he took a corner with them. Um, just it's mostly Canales, but, you know, he kind of is in that value tier and his name recognition, I think, will make him more popular in like the 15 than um, maybe he should be. Um I mean, outside of that, I, I don't even think I need to go over the DK screen. I think just showing it here will be good. So just to recap, cash options, obviously GPP, do whatever you want. Play some Luke De Jong, play some Lauren Moron, um, you know, play a fullback, play some goalies. Like all those things are going to change it up, especially in like a big field GPP and showdown. If you just go all like cash popular options, you're probably not going to um, get any bit of this top heavy pace structure. So, you know, if you – want to like play the Bettis is going to win the game one nothing you know like a Fakir captain with Canales play some Robles because he might get busy um you know follow it back with the set takers like that's a good like correlation play um or if you think you know it's 2-0 the other way you know that's where you can play some back like you got to keep in mind like if there's a clean sheet win on this late um from a goalie they're gonna be like a top two to three scorer there's just not enough peripherals in La Liga that I can see a goalie that gets 12 to 16 DK not being one of the top guys and not being on the GPP winner. So just keep that in mind. Um, so uh, I think that's going to kind of wrap it up. I really do hope to get guys that enjoyed this. Um, definitely going to still have some Bundesliga this weekend, but with uh, a little bit of time on my hands and um, with La Liga around the corner, I did want to get this out. Hope to see you guys in chat. Check us out, fsidfs.com. And final thing, please hit subscribe on our YouTube channel. It really helps. I'm um, going to have some PGA up um, with myself and uh, TK later today. And then just really as more and more sports get up, you'll, you'll see this YouTube channel grow and have more, more of our, our team on it and giving you some insights. So hope you all enjoy. Thank you again for watching. Take care.